Tapers, Snout, Secrets of Feeding Masterpiece. The tapir, a creature often overlooked, possesses an extraordinary adaptation for survival, its incredibly unique snout. It's more than just a nose, it's a versatile tool that allows them to thrive in their rainforest and grassland habitats. Imagine a flexible, prehensile trunk, like a shorter, softer version of an elephant's. They use this remarkable appendage to grasp leaves and branches, pulling down vegetation they otherwise couldn't reach. Stick around. You're about to learn something wild. But first, tap like and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next mind. It's also incredibly sensitive tappers use it to forage on the forest floor, rooting around for fallen fruits and tubers, almost like a snuffling vacuum cleaner searching for tasty treats. And remarkably, they even use their snout to drink water, scooping it up much like a tiny, living bucket. This adaptation is crucial for their diet and survival in environments where resources aren't always readily available. Take a closer look at that distinctive snout, it's truly remarkable. It's far more than just an unusual feature, it's actually a highly specialized feeding tool. Tapers use their flexible snouts to grasp leaves, twigs, and even fruits from thorny bushes or low, hanging branches that other herbivores simply can't reach. Imagine trying to pull a tasty leaf from a prickly shrub the tapers. Snout provides both protection and precision for this task. They can manipulate food items with incredible dexterity, almost like using their hands. This adaptation allows them to exploit a wider range of food sources, giving them a significant advantage in their rainforest habitat. Tapers possess a truly remarkable adaptation, their prehensile snout. It's far more than just a nose, it's an incredibly flexible and sensitive appendage that they use with incredible dexterity. Think of it as a fifth limb, allowing them to reach for food in ways most other animals can't. You'll often see tapers using this long, mobile snout to carefully grasp leaves from branches high above the ground, pluck ripe fruits, or even pull aquatic plants from rivers and streams. The incredible flexibility allows them to manipulate these items with surprising precision. Acting almost like an extension of their hands, a truly ingenious solution for accessing food in dense forests and near water sources. Take a closer look at that upper lip, it's truly one of the taper's most remarkable features. It's incredibly flexible and prehensile, meaning it can grip and manipulate objects with surprising dexterity. You'll notice how it curves and twists, allowing the tapper to pluck leaves, fruits, and branches with incredible precision. It's not just a passive lip, it actively helps them gather food. In fact, its ability to wrap around vegetation is so impressive, you could almost describe it as a built-in grappling hook. This adaptation allows them to access plants that other animals simply can't reach. Tapers are surprisingly adept divers, and it's a key part of how they forage for food. You'll often see them completely submerged in rivers and ponds, patiently searching for tasty aquatic plants. Their flexible snouts are incredibly useful here. They act like underwater vacuums, allowing them to pull vegetation towards their mouths with precision. They can actually hold their breath for quite impressive lengths of time sometimes up to several minutes. This allows them to thoroughly explore submerged areas where other animals might struggle to reach.
Tapers rely heavily on their incredible sense of smell to navigate their rainforest homes. Their snout isn't just a long nose, it's an incredibly sensitive organ packed with receptors. It allows them to detect the faintest whispers of scent carried on the breeze, even when those scents are coming from hidden sources. Think about trying to find a single ripe mango buried beneath layers of leaves and vines that's essentially what a tapper does every day. They also use their snout to feel around, analyzing the texture of surfaces and identifying the best fruits. This remarkable sensitivity gives them a significant advantage in finding food within dense vegetation. Tapers are incredibly tactile animals, and that sense of touch is largely thanks to their long, prehensile snouts. Young tapers don't instinctively know how to use these amazing tools effectively. They learn through observation and practice with their mothers. You'll often see a mother tapper guiding her calf, demonstrating exactly how to nudge leaves off branches, dig for roots, or even pull down low-hanging fruit. It's more than just sniffing around, it's about using the snout as an extension of their hand. Carefully testing and manipulating objects in their environment. This skill isn't taught with lectures instead, it's learned through imitation and repeated practice. A vital tradition passed down through generations to ensure survival. The tapers incredibly varied diet a mix of leaves, tender buds, succulent shoots, ripe fruits, and even aquatic plants isn't just about what they eat, but how they eat it. Their flexible lips, which can extend surprisingly far, allow them to grasp branches and pluck vegetation that other animals simply can't reach. They're essentially browsers with an incredible reach. Think of it like a built-in grappling hook for foliage. This specialized feeding mechanism is key to their survival, enabling them to exploit a wide range of food sources in diverse habitats often avoiding direct competition with other herbivores. It's what allows them to thrive where they do. You might notice that while all tapers have that distinctive snout, there are subtle differences between them. The Malayan tapir, for example, tends to have a longer, more flexible snout than the Baird's tapir. This isn't just a random quirk, it's actually adapted to their diets and environments. Malayan tapers often browse on leaves high in the canopy, requiring a longer snout to reach those food sources. Baird's tapers, found in denser undergrowth, use their snouts more for rooting around in leaf litter and digging for tubers. Even within species, there can be slight variations depending on local habitat conditions. It's a beautiful example of how evolution fine tunes even seemingly minor features to suit an animal's specific lifestyle. The tapper's distinctive snout isn't just unusual, it's a remarkable example of evolution at work. For millions of years, these animals have thrived by using this flexible appendage to forage in dense undergrowth and along riverbanks. It acts as a highly sensitive probe, allowing them to root out fallen fruits, pull up aquatic plants, and even strip leaves from branches. The tapper can manipulate objects with surprising dexterity Thanks to its snout's incredible mobility, it's like having an extra hand. You'll see them using it to grasp food or even clear debris from their path. This adaptation has been honed over generations, driven by the need to access resources unavailable to animals without such a specialized tool. Ultimately, 
The tapir's snout is a testament to the power of natural selection, perfectly illustrating how form follows function in the animal kingdom.